South Africa is facing an array of problems, including a growing current account deficit, weak businesses' confidence, and soaring inflation. But above all, surging debt that is almost 50% of GDP. That last bit could see credit rating agencies downgrade its ability to service debt further. Stern and Poor's down, uh, warned in January that it would downgrade the country if more policy mistakes are made and if growth continues to disappoint. Fellow ratings firm Fitch also cut South, uh, South Africa's rating to a notch above junk in December. Moody's rating is also just two notches above junk with a negative outlook. But it's not all doom and gloom. One international risk consultancy suggests that any potential downgrade is already priced in and investors with a risk appetite are still prepared to invest in South Africa. However, there's a bigger risk. We don't think it's going to have that much of an impact, um, especially on the currency. That's, um, we think that that effect has already happened. Uh, people who were very scared about a downgrade have left. Uh, and the people who still hold South African debts uh, are happy with a downgrade. And they still, even if there is a downgrade, they're still making more on their money than they would make in uh, Russia or Turkey, which are arguably riskier places. The drought is definitely the biggest risk that we're facing this year um, in terms of the, the effects it's going to have on food prices, uh, especially for poorer people who, who uh, eat a lot of maize. Um, and that inflationary effect of that uh, is really going to hit consumers very hard. But we see inflation going up uh, maybe to 7% this year, uh, so that's the kind of thing that you're looking at. Uh, at the same time as the Reserve Bank, to keep a, a lid on infl inflation, raises interest rates, so you're paying more to the bank for your credit card debts and so on.